Gladiolus. What springs into your mind when you think of gladiolus, an old-fashioned plant, an old-fashioned flower? What springs into my mind is Dame Edna Everidge, with a bunch on her arm, throwing them to her adoring fans. They're an old-fashioned flowered plant, but beautiful nonetheless, a lovely corn, um, but they're coming back. And why are they coming back? Because the florists love them in, in bouquets, in cut flowers, and the colours are vibrant. Now, there's a new variety out, not a variety as much as a type, Exactly the same as the old ones, but dwarf. 60 centimetres. In a tub like this, they'll grow beautiful. On your patio, they're really, really nice. If you've got an allotment, you can grow them in rows and use them as cut flower because they really are beautiful. But all gladdies are the same, and glamour glads are no different. When you're planting them in a tub like this, they come in collections of 15, uh, which is ideal in a, in a wooden tub like this. Some crocks, some pots in the bottom, a polystyrene balls, anything that just gives them, allows drainage, allows that moisture to run away. Uh, a multi-purpose compost, you can't go wrong. Top it up to about three inches below the rim and you can put your glamour glads in. Now a collection of 15 in here will be absolutely perfect. Glamour glads, I tell you what, there's lots and lots of them. Adrienne, white with a plum blush pink centre. Or Alana, a nice yellow one, vivid red orange, Daniela. And then there's some Flevo Amico, Flevo Bambino, Flevo Focus, Flevo Laguna, a unique bicolour, green, yellow with purple edges. The variety of colour is amazing. Flevo Smile, Flevo Vita, and the brand new one, Gwendolyn, Plum Red. That's a cracker. And Zipporah, pale pink and white. Or oh, you can have a mixture. And it really is as simple as that. Now just a point for those that don't know, they're, they're cup shaped, the cup actually goes down, the growing spike comes out of the top there. And as with most parkers, these are the top size bulbs or combs you can buy. Now a couple of tips. If you wanted a succession of flowers, space them out over a period. Plant one group now, one group in two or three weeks time, and then you'll get a succession of flower through the flowering period. You can also plant them, if you wanted to do it all in the same tub, at different depths because obviously they'll take the same amount of time to grow. So you'll have a succession, less mass planting, but a succession of flowers over a longer period. And it really is as simple as that. Top dress that with some compost, a little bit of grit and poof, you're in for it. Glamour Glads, what a great name. So Edna Everidge loves them, Morrissey Atlas Smiths loves them, and how couldn't you? Gladiolus, look what they're doing in the barrels. I put them in a few weeks ago, and look at the growth you get on them. And just here by the pond, they look lovely. They really are beautiful plants. Statuesque, make good cut flowers, good in the borders, good in barrels on a patio. I planted some off in pots. I'm going to plant these as soon as I clear the ground, I'm going to plant these out. So I've got an area for cut flower. You really can't beat them, they're so versatile and they really are beautiful. Old fashioned maybe, but beautiful just the same. 